Welcome to the GCSE Virtual Open Evening for Drama. Over the course of this presentation, I will discuss the three components that make up the GCSE Drama course. Component one is a devising component where you will work in groups and respond to a stimulus, which could be an extract from a book or a picture. You will then rehearse and create your own original performance. You will then perform and then afterwards you will explain your performance, justifying your ideas, uh, as well as your own evaluations within a written portfolio. This makes up 40% of the final GCSE grade. Component two is a scripted performance exam. You will be given a script and uh, you will have to rehearse two extracts from that script. You could do a solo performance, a duologue in a pair, you, or you could work in a group of three or four. You will then perform the scripted performance and that will make up 20% of your final GCSE exam grade. Component three is the written exam, and the main bulk of the written exam focuses on the play DNA by Dennis Kelly. You will answer questions as an actor, as a director, and as a designer, and we will spend lots of time in class studying this play, both practically and looking at how to structure your responses. The second part of the written exam is an evaluation of a live performance. You will watch a live performance and then we will spend time in class discussing the performance and you will also be able to create your own set of exam notes that you can take into the exam to help you to answer those questions. The exam is one hour 45 minutes and this makes up 40% of the final exam grade. There are lots of skills that you can get from studying drama. Probably the main skill is building self-confidence, which will help you to speak in public and develop your interpersonal skills. You will also find that you become more aware of how your physical presentation can affect the way that people see you. And this obviously helps in uh, interview situations and again with any form of public speaking or presenting. You will also develop your communication skills through discussion, rehearsal and performance, as well as developing your literacy skills through wider play reading and also learning lines. These skills will give you industry relevant performance skills, whether you want to be an actor, a director or a designer, and it will create a solid foundation to enter the performing arts industry or higher education. In terms of careers linked to drama or ways to develop your skills that you have learned studying GCSE drama, you could focus on subject specific careers such as acting, directing, uh, costume and set designing or lighting and sound designing, or you could go off into another industry. You could look at media and broadcasting or sales and marketing. You could go into teaching, not necessarily specifically drama teaching. Uh, you could look at different subjects. You could go into law um, or you could pretty much do any job which required you to speak publicly. These are just a small number of careers that could link back to drama. Thank you very much for taking the time to look at the GCSE drama course. If you have any further questions, please contact myself, Miss Jones, um, on the email address um, on the slide given, and I can answer any queries that you might have. Thanks very much.